Hello and welcome back everyone to this live demo session on SAP UI 5 and Fiori training on Business Application Studio and VS Code with me Anubhav. In this live demo session, we are going to talk about the basics of SAP UI 5. We will officially kick start our new live batch right from today. We are going to look at a simple use case with a live system demonstration to show you creating a simple UI 5 application. So first we will understand who is this training for we will talk about the overview of this training What can you expect in next 40 hour of this journey? We will discuss our demo use case followed by we have your question and answers covered in this live demo So let's understand who is this training for first of all So these are the different developer personas you can imagine with your yourself and map them to your needs and use cases. So if you are working like Ryan Ken as a technical SAP advocate working in the in the software industry in the IT industry as a UI consultant and want to learn SAP's UI technology UI 5 this training is going to help you. If you are a UX designer like Jackie Daniel who is currently working on mockups and designing just the UX wireframes and would like to turn her design into the reality of real application this training is also going to help you if you are working like rahul who's an application developer working on abap as an abap as a portal or bsp consultant this training is also going to help you to learn and develop fiori applications on both ecc as well as s4 hana if you are finally working as a fresher and just out of college like Soham Sharma who has no experience no expertise no reality no totality about anything on SAP this training is going to aspire Rohan to become a full stack SAP developer so these are the different personas you can think of your use case your persona yourself in one of these personas and then you can accordingly plan to join this training with us on anubavtrainings.com what do you expect in this next 40 hour of this journey? So in the first phase of this training, we are going to start with the basics of HTML5, CSS, JavaScript and jQuery. We will learn how to set up SAP Business Application Studio tool to develop our end-to-end -end UI5 applications. We will talk about SAP UI5 in the phase two, where we will learn the core concepts of SAP UI5, including UI5 framework, we will discuss about UI5 SDK to understand the documentation and the complete end-to-end -end details of how to build responsive web applications using MVC architecture. MVC stands for Model View and Controller. So whenever you develop application, you develop application with a architecture, and that's where we will use MVC. It's an industry standard to build UX applications. Then in the third phase, we'll talk about SAP Fiori. Fiori user experience and how can we build Fiori applications using mobile library provided by SAP, including latest concepts like component JS, router, root match handler, manifest JSON, building end-to-end -end applications and integrating them with services. Also, we will talk about Git integration. How do you share the project with fellow colleagues along with deployment of these application? including transport to the quality in production system. In the fourth phase, we will learn OData data development and consumption, where you will learn how to build and expose O data services out of your S4 HANA or ECC system. You can use any ERP system to expose your ERP data and consume that on the Fury side. So we will cover in depth how to work and build O data services end to end. So this is what all we will be learning in this next 40 hours. So this 40 hour training is especially designed for an absolute beginner or an ABAP developer who have never worked on UI5, never heard of UI5 and aspire to transform their existing dialog programs or WebDIN Pro programs to Fiori UX applications. So that will be the eventual goal of this next 40 hour training in this journey. So let's start with introduction of what is SAP UI5, what we are going to see today in the demo. So first we will, we will see a live demo in the system as part of this process. We are going to launch our dev tool. 
which is SAP Business Application Studio in BTP. Then we will learn about how to create our first project, how to create our new UI5 project. Then we will talk about basics of a small basics of MVC model view controller. We will create for simplicity one view and one controller today. Then we will discuss how to test this application in local computer. And finally, we will run this application in our web browser to show you the output. We're going to create a very simple application with just one button to give you an overall idea of how my training strategy or style will be to develop UI5 applications. Having said that, let's start and understand what is SAP UI5. So let's talk about quickly what is SAP UI5 and then we will discuss more in detail about how can we develop our first UI5 application. So when it comes to what is UI5, the most important thing we need to understand that SAP UI5 is a framework to develop responsive web applications. What is a framework? A framework is nothing but it's a collection of libraries. What is a library? Library is nothing but a collection of classes. What is a class? Class is nothing but a collection of attributes, functions, aggregations, and events, right? So this is why you can eventually see that UI5 consists of so many classes which we use to build user interfaces. The second word which comes very important here is called responsive. What is responsive? So responsive is nothing but a web application which is used to work in all the devices with same code. So you don't have to write code for different devices. An application which will work for all the devices with same code, it has ability to adapt itself according to the device. Yes, according to the device. This is what called responsive web application. Yes, responsive web application. So in order to develop any software, any application, you first need to know the development tool. So the development tool which we use to develop UI5 application is the Business Application Studio. So first we talk about development tool. And this development tool is also available in the trial mode. So anyone who is a beginner and willing to start learning UI5, yes, the tool which you can use is Bash tool and it's available free for trial mode. And where it is available, it's available in something called SAP BTP. So SAP BTP is nothing but SAP Business Technology Platform, which is a platform as a service provided by SAP to design, develop, and deploy applications into the cloud. So the very first thing we need is to go and subscribe to SAP BTP. I'm going to talk about setting up the development tools and prerequisites in my next episode, including the comparison of different development tools. But for today's demo session, as a convenience, I have not uh, included this in the demo today, how to set up a BTP account. We're gonna do that tomorrow. But I already have set up the BAS. So I will first show you how to create your, uh, create your first BAS. So what you can do is you can go to SAP BTP, the URL is account.hana.ondemand.com slash trial. This is where you can set up your free BDP account. And the next step you can do is just click on this option called SAP Business Application Studio. And that's all. It will launch SAP Business Application Studio, something like this. Yes, which is a development tool as a service available on the internet directly by SAP. And this is what I'm using as a trial mode. Now, once you start the BAS tool, the very first thing you need to do is create a dev space. What's a dev space? So in the BAS tool, we have a dev space, which is a 
virtual machine running on internet yes so there is basically a computer running somewhere on internet in which it is going to store all the project files the virtual machine includes required tooling support for developing multi cloud applications so there are variety of applications we can develop like hana applications ui5 fury applications mobile development kit applications but since our goal is to build fury application we will create a dev space for fury so let me just go back and create a dev space and let's call it as fury and i'm just going to choose sap fury you see it's a multi cloud development tool where you see different types of development supports but since our requirement is to do fury we choose fury and create a new dev space now in the trial account you can create maximum two dev space at a time only one dev space will be running and to each dev space have uh, up to four gigabytes of memory store which they allow and if you do not run it for long time then the system will automatically stop this virtual machine so you can see it's creating now a virtual machine somewhere on the internet and there is no installation required in your local computer to use this tool so in few moments you will see this the virtual machine will start and i can go inside to access my my tool yes the third thing which comes into the mind so once you have a development tool ready the next thing which comes is which architecture to follow to develop application so we are not developing college project we are here to develop productive applications for enterprise and when you do that you need to really take care of architecture so in order to develop ui5 application we use mvc architecture which means model view and controller now the simplest way to understand mvc is to understand functioning of a computer so in a computer we have input output processing and data similarly we see here we have a model which is your data your view which is your input output the screens and the controller where you write your application logic so this is what a mvc architecture is all about it's a common principle to develop applications which has some user interfaces we are going to talk about mvc in detail in unit number three in our training so you will get very comfortable with mvc it since it's a demo session today i'm just not going to go deep inside mvc but we will be doing it later in unit number three for today you just understand that we will be developing a view and controller for simplicity where a view contains the ui elements which we need to display to the user like buttons and controller will contain the logic of when of what happens when button is pressed yes the views are coded in xml format now what is xml some of you are absolutely new to xml we will talk about this topic in unit number five more in detail what is xml why do we need and what's the format and then we will have controller is coded in javascript language so we will talk about this as well the basics of javascript and also controller but for today's demo i will just use a basic skeleton yes to develop these two things for you i'm just going to go back now and you can see our dev uh, our dev space is still starting yeah so now what i will do is i will just show you the ui mock-up so we will have a uh, button we will have a view and inside this view i'll just create a button and when this button is clicked i will have the business logic when this button is clicked i will have the business logic will be written in the controller yes so all the business logic will be written inside the 
controller. That's what we'll, we will do. So let us go ahead and see this in action. So now you can see our dev space has been started. I can switch over to our dev space. And this is what starts the development space where we can add and write our business logic. Perfect. So now what we have here is we have our dev space and we can just go ahead and create an application. So a application or a project is nothing but a folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder here. But before that, I'm just going to click on open folder and I'll go to a folder called projects folder in which we will add new folders. So that's what a project essentially is for a computer. It's just a folder where you group all your project files. So the very first thing it does is it starts a uh, it starts a page and now you can see I have the projects directory and in this projects directory I can start adding my content. Yes, so we can just go ahead and add my content inside this projects directory. So let's cre create a new folder inside this projects directory so I can uh, just go ahead and add new folder so that I can add my files inside that project. So to do that we go to terminal and open terminal. And in this terminal, we can say mkdir command make directory and I can say UI5 demo. And this creates now a folder in my computer very easy. And in this I can now add files. So the starting file is uh, the file which is going to load this UI5 framework. And this file we usually create directly inside the project directory as a index.html file. Yeah. So this is my file. Yes, you can see I just have a new file now called index.html. It's an HTML file to start any web application, any mobile application. This is the starting point. And in this we write a HTML document. Yes. And then we will just put a header. So an HTML page consists of a header and a body. Just like humans, we have a brain and we have the body. Body is what people see. Similarly, what you put inside the body is what people will see. And in the header, we will put all the initialization code. So that's a very basic concept of HTML. If you uh, are new to the HTML, don't worry. We are going to cover the detail about HTML in our unit number one more in detail. In the next coming class, I'm going to talk about HTML5 in details. So now I will just go back and put a tag here, very special tag called script tag in which we will put a source and here we are going to put the URL of from where I'm going to load the UI5 framework. As I told you that we will be using this framework which consists of libraries, classes and attributes. So there is a certain way we load this framework and this framework is already available on internet and we can load it for free in our uh, in our file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to write the URL. Now you must be wondering where where did this URL come from and how do I know about it? Don't worry. I'm going to cover this in our next unit uh, where I will discuss about the basics of SAP UI5 framework. Yeah, so that's where I'm going to cover it. So if I just do a control click, you can see it is loading up here. Yeah, the framework is loading up. The next thing which we will do is we will also add here a an additional property called data SAP UI libs as I told you that it consists of so many libraries. I don't want to load all libraries. So I just specify that the library which I want is SAP M. SAP M is a mobile library to build your application. The next thing we will say is data SAP UI theme and I want to load SAP Fiori 3 dark theme that is going to give me the experience of dark background. And in order to apply that experience on my entire page, I have to also specify classification called SAP UI body. Now, these things are absolutely new to many, many of you and you might not digest this in the demo. But the idea of this training is to make you guys comfortable with all of these things. It's a demo session. So, of course, I cannot explain all 40 hours in just one hour. 
but idea is to eventually go back and learn each and every bit of it and every line of code you should be able to understand as you can see my strategy to teach is not a copy paste strategy the strategy here is to write every single line of code at front of you so you can digest and understand what is the meaning of every line and that's when it, the real power of the knowledge comes into picture so now we are good and these are the basic stuff which we need to get started and load the framework load the ui5 framework and let's go ahead and test our app we can say welcome to ui5 and i'm just going to right click and run open preview and we should now see a black color background screen that is what because of this theme which i just mentioned followed by that you can see here the welcome to ui5 so it's a very simple hello world like uh, ui page ui5 application page now we want we don't want hello world we want something else so what i mentioned is we want a view and a controller so let's create a view and a controller so what we're going to do is we will create now a view and i'm going to name it as main.view.xml so just like any file uh, you have in your computer it has an extension to detect the type of the file similarly here you see the view.xml is the extension which tells the system uh, which tells the the ui5 framework that it's a view and the type of the view is xml i'm going to say okay and we are going to define a view so view is also a class so sap ui5 framework as i mentioned consists of multiple classes yes so view is also a class and these classes are part of libraries so view is part of mvc library so we have to define now a view by saying um, mvc view and we need to mention now what is this mvc all about so for that i need to create a variable called xml namespace mvc and i say sap ui core mvc this is the namespace this is a variable i've created you can just put here anuba and then you can also put anubav here this is also fine so we are mentioning that this view class belongs to this library that is what this namespace is doing at the same time we will just say xml namespace sap mobile library so that's a default namespace what we have here which indicates uh, which indicates that we have a uh, default library sap mobile so if anything is not prefixed with the with this variable name by default it should be looked into mobile library yes by default it will be looked into mobile library so now next thing which we will do here is to go and create now a button so let's add a button with a text and i say click me yes so this is a button class so by default this button class will be looked inside the the mobile library now you must be wondering anuba how do we know that there is a text property for button class yeah so that's something i'm going to explain in unit number seven when we will talk about ui5 sdk you all will be able to find even complex controls and build them yourself so i will introduce you to the sdk and i will take you comfortable with sdk and, and its concepts so there's a lot to learn in this training if you are a beginner there is of course a lot to learn this training is not just for beginners even for people who are already working on ui5 but is still not very confident on the technology so it's going to help them as well for time being we are good and we have our our uh, our button so how does this view then come on the screen so if i run it of course it will not come on the screen if i just go ahead and test yes if i just go ahead and go ahead and test this view nothing is going to come on the screen still we'll see the old black screen but in order to display this view on the screen now we have to add the code to instantiate this view so let's create the object of the class so view is a class i'm going to create object of the view class new sap ui view and i'll say hey my view name is uh, uh, my view name is the main dot that's my view name yes so this is my view name and my view type is XML yes, this is my view type and once the view is ready please place this view into the into the body so you can see this is the body and in this body I'll just create a element called division tag and I say content give some ID to this so I'm gonna place now this view object inside the 
inside this content. So take the content and place it here. So basically, as I mentioned, HTML it consists of header and body. So user can only see what you keep in the body. So we are sending our view which we created just now over here into the body of HTML. That's what we are actually doing. Now there is one more last thing which we need to do. The system will not be able to recognize that this main view which we have added here is it's, it's, it's present where in our application folder. So right now we just have one folder but going forward we'll have more folders, more proper structure. So system should know or the UI5 framework must know which folder does this view exist. So in order to tell that we have to add another property here called data SAP UI resource roots yes, that we have to add and let me just add this property here and specify that my current working directory is named as let's say uh, UI5 demo. So what I was saying to the system now here is that this folder name, this is my namespace, this is my folder name and this is basically my current working directory. Yeah, it's my current working directory UI5 demo and I copy this and add it also here. So I say that this main view can be found in the UI5 demo directory. This is a very important property so that SAP UI5 framework can detect our, our view properly. Now I'm just going to right click and open and it doesn't work which means I've done a mistake. Actually this should come first and dot slash should come later. Let's give a try again. Just save. And yes, there you go. You can see now our button is coming. Basically, the view is coming. But now, as a next step, when I click, nothing happens. Of course, we have not written any business logic. Yes. So business logic is written, as I mentioned, inside a controller. So let's go ahead and create a controller file. We name it as main only. But extension will be dot controller dot gs. This is the extension of a controller file. I come inside. Now, just like any class, if you talk about, let's say, ABAP or C programming or Java programming, you start a class, you put class name, yes, definition, right? This is how you start a class. Controller is also a class. It has to have some structure. So SAP provide a skeleton to develop controller file and it's called SAP UI define. Yes. So today I'm not going to explain this in detail, but this is the skeleton of creating any any controller file. Now since it's a controller file, it also needs to add a dependency on a SAP standard class called SAP UI core MVC controller. And we need to just add that dependency here. So it's a class which inherit from another SAP standard class and that's why that's when it becomes a controller. So if you are new to this, don't worry. We have one hour lecture only on these five lines. Yes, the unit number nine where I will cover all these five lines in just one hour. Only one hour, only these five lines will discuss. But for today, just take it as it is. And I'm just going to say return and inheritance of this controller. So this is the skeleton of our controller class. And now I will give the full address. It's again part of UI5 demo folder dot main. And then I will put here the logic. So when press me happens, I call a function and I just say alert. Alert is like a, like a pop-up. Just show a pop-up to the user and I say welcome to Anubhav trainings. Yes. So this is how our controller can be built. We just have a function inside controller called press me and this function I'm now, now going to call in my view. So I just go to the view and I say when somebody press the button, please call uh, press me. Wow, that's amazing. So we're just calling the press me function whenever the button is pressed. But there's a catch. You we have forgotten to specify who's the controller of the view. So we have to say controller name for this view is UI5 demo dot mean this is the controller for my view so this is mandatory so to tell the system that who's the controller of this view so the system can automatically detect and find this press me function 
in in that controller itself yeah very simple so let's go ahead and now test once again our application so i'm just going to right click and test again and let's click and voila you can see welcome to anubo trainings how simple was that so this is how line by line step by step we develop source code in sap ui5 with our development tool this is just a demonstration of what you can expect in coming classes of course we have a detailed explanation of each and every line planned for you in this training to make you a make you an expert on sap ui5 so all right so with that having said that that's the end of our demo and let's move on to some of the frequently asked questions by many of you in the past regarding this training so we'll try to address some of these question myself based on the past experiences and questions which has come from your end and then we will also have live question answers right after this demo so the first question is what is the duration of this training and what are all the prerequisites so the duration of this training is 40 hours and there is no prerequisite other than basic programming skills so as you just know the basic programming skills and that's more than enough to get started with this training the timing does not suit me can i go with video mode training yes you can opt for the video mode training of our most recently recorded batch in this year itself last month we finished a completely new batch and we have all the recordings available in video mode for you and you can ask your questions over the email to me so this option also applies for those who want to fast track their learning and do not want to wait until the entire batch completes in next course of 40 hours so in that case you can speed up your learning as well using the fast track mode which is video mode training what tool do i need and where can i get those tools so in this training we are going to utilize the sap business application studio tool also we will learn vs code tool and in our next session tomorrow's session i'm going to show you how to install these tools in your system or get the access of these tools vs code tool is absolutely free for a developer so we will learn about this tool how to install this tool configure this tool in your system local computer so that you all will be able to develop end-to-end -end application through the hands-on during this course what about the server access for o data so yes when you when it comes to working with real erp systems and data we use o data open data protocol it's a basically way to create services which expose data to the browser so we would need certainly a real sap server but you don't need to worry right now we would need this server only in the last 10 classes and in session number 29 i'm going to show you and demonstrate you where and how you can get a o data server access you can also use your company server i will explain you all the required components which will be which will be needed to to be checked in your company system and how can you check them that also i will demonstrate to you in the next episode so will you cover real time scenarios in this course yes we will cover end to end development of fury apps in real time and we will also learn about connecting this to real sap data real sap server data we will understand the design development configuration packaging deployment and delivering our application to production system all of this end to end we will be covering in our course i am new to sap ui5 can i learn yes this course is designed for an absolute beginner a fresher who have never ever ever done ui5 or never done any any kind of web development because in this training we are going to cover for you html5 css javascript and jquery just one uh, one disclaimer here java and javascript are completely different programming languages so we do not need any java experience or java knowledge yes and whatever javascript is required i am going to also teach you that as part of the training so you have no clue no idea perfect no problem this training is designed for you for an absolute fresher or beginner if i miss a class how can i refer the class so each class will be recorded and you will be able to watch the video of the class right after the right after the class is complete so we will publish each class recordings in our private training blog which you will get an access to where you can go and watch the recording of the class in case you missed one or in case even you attended you want to recall the concepts you can go and watch the recording 
what's the process to enroll for this training it's very simple please feel free to send us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com and you can express your interest to join this course and then that's it we will help you to subscribe for this training easily so that's the process to join this course you can also reply back the email which you've received from us uh, about this demo and that way you can also join this course as well all right so this comes to the end of this demo i have never dreamed about success i worked for it that's the messaging for for all of you today thank you so much once again for your taking your time today for this demo session and i hope to see you in the next episode and our topic for the next class is how to set up our development tools both vs code and business application studio once again anubhav signing out thank you so much see you and goodbye